Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I am introducing my Panos eyeshadows for 2024. This year I am again going to use the prompts from Makeup by Lainey. So if you wanna see what eyeshadows I'm gonna be working on for the first month of the year, then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, if you are new around here and you love watching Project Panning videos, you love watching Project Pans that include panning eyeshadows, then make sure you subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump on into the video. So Makeup by Lainey, I will include a link to her channel down below. She created a list of 100 prompts that can correspond to eyeshadows in your collection. Last year I was working on this uh, spreadsheet. I managed to hit off 14 off of this spreadsheet so I still have a ways to go in terms of completing the spreadsheet. Uh, it's going to be a long slog to try and complete this spreadsheet but I would really like to knock off a large number of prompts again this year. So I'm going to randomly generate five shadows again. I think I'm going to focus on five at a time again this year. Just feels like a good, well-rounded number, a good number to update on each month. So I'm going to focus on five. I'm going to randomly generate those from my spreadsheet. Just keep working through those prompts. And then I'll go through the collection, find a shadow that matches that prompt, and we will get the show on the road with pan those eyeshadows for 2024. I've got my pretty random app up here. Let's see what numbers we get. So we have number 61, number 57, number three, 83 and 18. Prompt number three is my least favorite shadow from my favorite palette. 18 is A to Z roulette. Okay, so we're going to do a random letter and it is the letter L. So it'll be a shadow that starts with the letter L. And then we have a shadow that starts with the letter F, a shadow that starts with the letter J. So that's prompt 57 and 61. And lastly is a shadow from a palette with no pans. So I'm going to go find those in my collection and I'll be back to show you what shadows I have picked. Here are my palettes here. So I've chosen five palettes here to match the prompts. It's a little bit difficult, if I must say so. Starting off with prompt number three, least favorite shadow from my favorite palette. For that one, I grabbed out my Glaminatrix Nearly Natural palette. It's my favorite palette at the moment. Now from this palette, it seems very disappointing that I have to choose the least favorite shade um, because there's so many beautiful colors in this palette that I would love to work on. I would say out of this palette, there's probably three shades that I use the least and that's Disrobe, Down to Earth and Nothing to See. Out of those three, I'm going to grab for Down to Earth, which is like this greeny color. Um, I just don't often grab for greens, wear greens, so I thought that I would pick that one. So it's kind of a bit of like a mossy deep green. So that's that first one there. Moving on to number 18, which was the A to Z roulette, and I got the letter L. For that shadow, I'm going to grab out my... Colourpop Blue Moon palette. I didn't want to just pick colours that were easy. I thought that I would grab out some like colourful palettes. And I am trying to work towards having a pan in every single palette in my collection. So I thought that I would grab this one out as one of the first colourful palettes of 2024. Um, for L, I'm going to grab for Lumi which is this one here. It's like the only L shade in the palette though. So that's why I had to grab for that one. But it is like this beautiful like blue iridescent shimmer. I think it'll be nice for like even all over the lid probably would be pretty, but also in a corner highlights when I am doing like blue looks or anything like blue leaning. A shadow that starts with the letter F. For that one, I'm grabbing for my Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. Um, I'm actually, out of all of the beautiful colors in this palette, 
I'm gonna grab for the probably the most boring one in the palette and it's uh, Fulani, which is this one here. Let me make sure I am swatching this with a clean finger. And I think that this one will go well with that shadow from the, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. That's that one there. For the letter J or the shadow that starts the letter J being prompt number 61, grabbed out my Glaminatrix uh, Silent Night palette. So another Glaminatrix palette. And I am going to grab for Jingle Bells, which is this beautiful like a brownie shimmer here, coppery shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to use this. And that's that one there. How gorgeous is that? Um, so, so far quite neutral. And I think it's gonna to continue to be neutral. And last but not least is a shadow from a palette with no pans. That's prop number 83. For that one, I've grabbed out my Be Perfect uh, clientele palette. This was a collaboration with Jar, the makeup artist. And I am going to grab for, which one was I going to do? Oh, Date Night. I'm going to grab for the color Date Night which is this beautiful shimmer right here. Actually, now that I've chosen Jingle Bells, this one might be quite similar. So let me just swatch. Uh, actually, I might need to change this because it is quite similar. So that's, that's it there. It's quite similar, I think. Not the same, but it is similar. So I might, I might change that to, I did originally choose Date Night which was this one here, but after, that was before I chose Jingle Bells from my Silent Night palette. So I think now, I think I'm going to swap it to Lux, which is this one here. It is still kind of that same family, but it is slightly different. So I think that, you know, it's, it's gonna add a nice, difference to it so that's the top one there is Lux from that jar palette sorry the swatches are all over the place I will insert a better photo over the top now of the color story we're working with just because this has turned into a bit of a shit show over here just given that I chose shadows and then chose other shadows and didn't really compare them. So I'm going to go with Lux from the Jar palette and we shall see how we go. Um, it is quite a neutral color story at the moment. So given that I can wear the color story or the neutrals very regularly, I anticipate that hopefully I can hit pan on these fairly quickly because they will be getting very regular use given that they are neutrals and I can wear them basically daily um, for my work makeup. So those are the five that I'm gonna start with. I will, I promise, I'll challenge myself a little bit better as we go through the year, but that's how we're gonna start. I wanna try and get as many pants as I can throughout the year. So we're going to throw in a few like give me's every now and then. So we'll start the year off well because this year I have big goals when it comes to panning. So we're gonna hedge our bets with a few every now and then. So that's my intro for my Pan Those Eyeshadows for 2024. Let me know down in the comments box how you are planning on doing your panning this year. Are you gonna be doing a Pan Those Eyeshadows? What are you planning on panning this year? And also let me know if you've tried to pan any of these shadows and how long it took you. I would love to know. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed down below so you can get notified when my updates on this project go live. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope that you're having a fantastic start to your new year and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.